wasn't quite in position. Oh, chance has fallen here. Bruno Forner only. And the goal stands. Sydney FC claim a foul. Out of nothing. Melbourne Victory have had so many opportunities. Finally take one. Harvey Norman replay shows Sydney looking just to play out. And it's just a slip. And if there's one man you don't want the ball to fall to with that much time and space in that area of the pitch, it's Bruno Fornaroli, clinical as ever. One chance, puts it away. 1-0 Melbourne victory. Well, Sydney were claiming that Bratton was taken out from behind by Roy Marchand, but Daniel Elder had a good look at it. I did not expect this six minutes in. Down to the Jets. Azani's corner to the front post is Ray Machan. Back to Azani. Full of confidence. Hits the byline. Here's a chance to equalise. And Bruno Fornaroli has done that. Two in two for Bruno. What a start to this game at Amy Park. Isn't he excited? 1-1 one, one, just eight minutes in. It's time to crank the wheel. This is not the Melbourne victory as we see. On the Harvey Norman replay, uh, Zani gets at his defender, Maragas, and he puts it on a platter for Bruno Fornaroli. He does not need a second invitation from there. Well, that's what Daniel Alzani's all about. That's why he made headlines in 2018 at the World Cup in Russia. We've always known the talent is there. Been Get pretty quiet so far in this opening half an hour. Isn't it in the by the Jets? Here's Trey all right. Looks for Fornaroli. He's got the touch and he's got a second. Bruno Fornaroli cannot stop scoring. From 1 0 down to 2 1 up in this first half of the victory. As we see on the Harvey Norman replay, Adama Troy Traore driving forward and they're just lifting it into an area. And it's indecision from Na Mark Natter and Jason Hoffman that allows the opportunity for that man there, Fornaroli, to open up. And he doesn't need, again, a second invitation. It's a wonderful poacher's finish. The penalty it is. It's Fornaroli up against Ryan Scott for the chance of a first half hat trick. Bruno delivers. It's Fornaroli with three in the first half and the victory fans are in delight at the exploits of their Uruguay. Bruno Fornaroli with his hat-trick, look at that, on the Harvey Norman replay, so assured, so confident. Yes indeed, that is a hat-trick, Bruno Fornaroli, and you are worth the price of admission. The Lupale cuts inside. This pass well blocked by Batomier. The Chach though wins it back. And now Traore has space. Can the victory add another before the halftime break? Bruno Fornaroli with the Rabona. A half of his wildest dreams. Bruno has four. And we haven't yet gone yet to the halftime whistle. On the Harvey Norman replay, it's Traore again marauding down that left-hand side for victory. Just puts it into a good area. And look at that from Fornaroli to be able to stop his run, prop, and then the, the presence of mind to pull out the Rabonia. Unbelievable. Slight deflection off Mark Matter, but that will matter nothing to Fornaroli. Winning the cup under Dwight York, and there was this look at the strength of Mashash. Just brushing away Kiddo. The cutback is brilliant for Fornaroli! He just can't stop scoring. Zinedine Mashash, the provider. Bruno Fornaroli for the sixth time this season. Well, we'll see here on the Harvey Norman replay. Zinedine Mashash with the strength and power, the bustling run. And as he gets his head up, you see a little look. And as the ball comes to Fornaroli with the form he's in, he's always taking it first time. Look at that strength, power, has a quick look. There he is, just out of the reach. And Bruno Fornaroli. He got seven goals for all season last year for Melbourne Victory. We're on round three and he has six already. At 36 years of age, he is hitting peak form. Fornaroli. 
We have seen that little adjustment you were talking about of trying to get Brimmer higher up the pitch, haven't we? Because here's Fornaroli. Fornaroli tries to bend it. Oh, Bruno Fornaroli. He opted for precision instead of power. He knew exactly what he wanted to do and he executed it to perfection. That is the quality of Bruno Fornaroli at the end of the first half. Well, on the Harvey Norman replay, that is an absolutely exquisite strike. He looked like he was in no man's land out on the sideline. He's under heavy pressure from Caltech, creates the space for himself. And like you said, Robbie, he doesn't blast it. He just places it. Beautiful technique. Danny Vukovic was struggling all the way. And as soon as it came off his boot, you knew that was flying in the top corner. Wonderful skill, strength, and the precision with the strike at the end. That is absolute class from Bruno Fornaroli. Look at that. From the moment it left his boot, you knew that was going in the top corner. It doesn't get any better than that. Now Connor Chapman's turned down this right-hand side. Jake Brimmer again. He looks up and crosses towards Fornaroli. Marcelo's header only finds Mashash again. Fornaroli turns it in. The flag has stayed down. And victory are the first team to score at Combank this season. From an opposition point of view at least, Lawrence Thomas is beaten and it's Fornaroli. Well, on the Harvey Norman replay, we'll show Bruno Fornaroli doing what good number nines do. Taking a gamble, look at his positioning. He knows the strike is most likely to go across the goal. Positioning himself where the save might be palmed out to. And then it's just the simple task of putting it away into an empty net. We showed the highlights of he's won the goal from last week. We said he's great around the box, and he's just gone and proved it again. Time. At the end of the first half, Fornaroli is a clever little touch, wonderful touch for Mashash. And now through the legs for Fornaroli. Valupale's at the back post. Fornaroli's done wonderfully well. What a finish into the top corner. And Bruno Fornaroli just cannot stop scoring. He gleefully took it, rasping the ball into the top corner. And how about that initial touch for Mashash, who then put it through the legs of Marcelo. And that is some clinical finish from Bruno Fornaroli. Well, that Socceroos discussion is one that's going to have to be had. He is the A-League's form striker, as we see on the Harvey Norman replay. To net the hat-trick. Bornaroli against Thomas, and he blasts the ball beyond the valiant dive. And Melbourne Victory are knocking the Wanderers off their perch. 3-0. VAR's there to overturn a howler. howler. They went with the on-field decision. And he thumps it away, Bruno Fornaroli, for his hat-trick. And he inches ever closer to that 100 mark. And I'm sure the debate will rage on into the evening about that man and the Socceroos. That's the obvious switch to be done there. Arzani delivers. It's a good ball in. Oh! Fornaroli! Well, the near post header. And for the second time this season, and just the second time in his A League career, he has scored four goals in a match. And what a way to bring up number 100. By a Harvey Dorman replay on show. It's a wonderful ball in from Daniel Arzani. And as simple as that, look, there's red and black shirts all around him, finds his spot. And he just glances it down in that near near corner, uh, near bottom corner. And isn't he loving life at the moment? 100 goals for Bruno Fornaroli in the Isuzu Ute Hyundai A-League. Now Sydney FC are preparing their first change. As you can see, they've given the ball away to Mashash. 
Zinedine Mishash with Bonaroli. The flag stays down. And Bruno is at it again. His 12th of the season. And now it is three goals that Sydney are chasing. Well, it's just a horrible turnover from Sydney. From the Harvey Norman replay. From there on, it's beautiful, beautiful feet from Mishash just to straighten the line of attack. Suck the two central defenders in away from Bruno. Beautiful delay play. Does magnificently the Moroccan. And the Uruguayan does all right too. The Australian. He's one of us. Always was. Bruno makes it three for the game for victory. And 12 for the season for El Tuna. Ashash just beautiful. Really just beautiful. And Sydney cooked. Completely cooked. From the moment Girdwood Wright gave the ball away. Ian Miranda, a really good central defensive pairing for Tony Popovich. Falami on the move, out in front of Fornaroli. Has Adams alongside, wants to go on himself, and he's got it. Bruno Fornaroli had one ruled out in the first half for offside. That one's going to stand. Big smile for Tony Popovich. Well, on the Harvey Norman replay before. We just sit in awe of Bruno Fornaroli, admire the work of Ben Falami, bursting through midfield to set El Tuna away. And this guy is just incredible. Just an incredible finish. That's so difficult, which he makes look routine. When you've got this many goals as a top striker, of course, at the top of your game, the confidence is high. And he just nails it. He nails it, like he nailed the header in the first half, ruled out for offside, but no such fortune for Adelaide on this occasion. The best in the business this season. Something to behold. Bruno Fornaroli.